Monty. Thank you for clicking on this video and watching how me, a nail enthusiast, is doing her own nails. So I'm kind of mimicking a Russian manicure, not really, but kind of, but then also just adding my twist on things. So I'm using this new brand because they're known for like their, you know, their great adhesion, so Cocoas. So I'll give you guys an update. And then I'm using this Acri Gel just so it could give my, the tip of my nails more strength because I rushed the soak off process as you saw in the beginning. So my nails were looking really rough. Yeah, really rough. Right after I cure it, now I can shape it, make sure it's leveled so when I put the rubber base coat on, it's not bumpy and I don't have to go back in and file it, okay? You can use your hand file, you can use a 180 to 100 grit, it all depends on what you feel comfortable, but for me, now that I have an e-file, I'm going to go use my e-file and get that. So you just use that sanding bit and get straight to work. So like I said, I'm just smoothing it out. So when I put my rubber base coat on, it looks smooth and it's ready to go. Well, I can definitely show better than I can tell, but if you're just listening in, this is how you're going to build your nail or your coat with the rubber base coat. Put a nice thin coat on the nail. Don't cure it. And then make sure you clean the sides. That's also really important. I didn't show it, but also make sure your sides are clean. But if you are good, you know, you always eat down. You always make sure the sides are nice and clean. So you don't have to worry about that second part and then go in with a nice you know if you're doing acrylic you know the term when they put say bead i like to say dollop put a nice dollop not too much honestly with practice you would just know the right amount to put on your nail and then use a nice thin brush like the one i'm using here and then that's when you can go at the sides and that's when you make sure that the sides have also that gel so it looks nice and clean, get as close to the cuticle as possible. This is where you want to do it very slow and do one nail at a time. Before, <laughs> for some reason, I used to think I could do two nails at a time and then it'll get so messy and then we'll go to the sides because again, it's not going to always be perfect. Not like this, not all the time. So it's always best to just do it one nail at a time. So this is how all the nails look. I do my nails, nice, very, nice, I like it. Very, very I don't nice. do I'm too much. I don't go too crazy. Very I don't mindful, do too long. Very, very demure. demure. <laughs> Something very classy, And now I'm doing the French tip. French tip is always different, okay? Because some people like it thin. Some people like it thick. Some people like a Spanish instead of French. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it all depends on your preference and how you want to do it. And then... I tried to use this gel I also got from Cocoist. I don't know if my lamp just does not like black gels or what have you, but <laughs> we did it. It worked, but it ended up doing that curling thing, so I didn't film too much of that because it didn't work out the best the way I wanted to. And then here's your top coat, and then you're all done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope I helped a bit. See you in the next one.